chicken egg. No, this it's is, not. This happens to be an egg from a North American alligator. Ooh. Female alligators will, in the springtime will lay about 30 of these in oh. a nest, and then 60 That's to 90 days it. later, you're going to get this little hatchling oh, alligator. Oh, he's now, cute. I said, Lindsay's in panic mode right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's going to have no circulation in her arm later. This is a yearling alligator, just about one year old. And these alligators in the wild will grow anywhere from 10 to 12 inches a year. And Lindsay, I'm going to ask you to hold this little guy right now. Yeah, yeah, I want first. you guys to know, how come I'm always the one who gets conned well, into this? You're going to hold him for me Just because... Me, okay, now put your other hand right up here. Oh, He's not going to go nuts, is he? There He's you moving. go, right there. And I'm going to show you an animal well, here really that is happy. about... There's a big one, low, low, low. Now, this guy here is about four years old. All Hello. Right? And this is a very important animal here in the Going state out. of Florida for yeah. several reasons. One of the main reasons these animals are so important is because they dig holes. And in times of drought, those holes accumulate and hold water. Right. Now, in that water lives a little fish called a gambusio minnow. <laughs> <laughs> you got him? You hold on to it. And those gambusios minnows live strictly on mosquito larvae. And you know the problems Ew, we yeah. have with mosquitoes here in the state of Florida. So any animal that helps us with that problem is oh, very yeah. beneficial. Oh, yeah. nice. Now, I want to show you some very interesting... Wait a second, Joel. Uh, he has no tape on his mouth. Here. Well, Lindsay, that's, that's why I have you holding him for <laughs> me right now. That's why we're moving. Just... Now, I'm going to show you some interesting features. And I am going to ask you to stand back just a little bit, you okay. two. Okay. Because this is dangerous. Bring Scooter now, with us. For you folks at home, <laughs> don't try this in your own home. Now, no, I'm going to tap him on the mouth. See? That. Okay, now, if we get a close-up right down the throat, folks, you'll that. notice that that kind of looks like a dead end. It's not at all. That's called an epiglottis valve. And what that valve does is it enables the alligator to take his prey under the water and dismember it and it keeps the water Ew. from going down his throat and and keeps him from drowning. Now, I'm going to okay, go prey, ahead... Prey as in what? Not, not prey as in it, girls, right? No, no, no. <laughs> prey as in, in ducks and other water fowl and fish. Now, oh, now you two can come on back up Thank here now because I'm going to hold his mouth shut. Okay, good. And I want to show you some other interesting features about the alligator. Yeah. First of all, you'll notice his eyes. They're retractable. Wow. The reason that those are like that is because if he gets in a fight or a stick hits him in the eye, they can go right in and they pop back out without hurting him. Wow. Now, real quick, I'm also going to show you this is the alligator's ear right here. Oh, my he has flaps over those ears to enable him to do some deep water d uh, diving. And then the ridges on the back and on the tail, those are called scoots. And, Scoot. and they, the scoot. Now, we now, they, they absorb the heat while the alligator's basking in the sun in the daytime. And then at nighttime, when the temperatures drop, the alligator's body reserves to the heat that is accumulated in those scoots and helps keep him warm. And he has to do that because just like all mm. reptiles, he's a cold-blooded animal, right. and his t body so temperature... those are like little natural solar panels, right? Exactly. Solar scoops. Exactly. Now, you know, <laughs> ab about 200 years ago, the Seminole Indians discovered you could flip one of these guys over on his back and put That's him to when sleep. I made my exit. Holy now, I'm, I'm going to show you how this is done. Okay. And actually, rubbing their belly has nothing to do with it. That's just for show. And what happens here is very scientific. The alligator's brain is encased in a cavity, and that cavity is filled with a fluid. Now, when we turn him over like this, the fluid drains out, and the alligator's brain rests directly against the back of his skull, and it causes him to black out. You know what, now, Joel? That happens this, to my brain sometimes. This, this only lasts for about <laughs> two minutes, this. and you're going to see when I flip him back over. Oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's fine. All right, he's doing fine. He is. Now, Look you here. know, the most common question that I get asked about these guys is what's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? My partner, Jesse, is coming in right now. Look at that. And we'll Look. show you both of these guys up close. And if you'll notice, the crocodile snout is kind of pointed and V-shaped, right. where the alligator's snout is blunt and U-shaped. Also, Ooh. if you'll look at on the side, you will see that the crocodile exposes about 90% of his teeth. Yeah, while he looks like he needs braces. Now. Yeah. Yes, he does. And the alligator only has about 10, maybe 20% of his teeth now, exposed. Now, you were showing us the like, self-protective devices about their eyes, their ears. Right. The, the crocodile has the same eyes and, and Absolutely. Yeah, retractable. 
their eyes. Their snout and their That's correct. Does, because he, does the crocodile have scoots? He sure does. Solar scoots? They have a lot of the same features because their environment is very similar. Right. However, the crocodile is a much more aggressive animal than the alligator. Now, Good thing he's way down there. Well, that's what we, we've got me between you two and the <laughs> yes. crocodile. That's always nice. Now, no, we also, bad. you know, we have another reptile that we're going to show you oh, today. Wait, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Now, why are, uh, the, the crocodiles are an endangered species, right? And the alligators are not. That's Ooh. correct, because Ooh. the natural habitat is being destroyed from the crocodile faster than the alligator. The alligator is not as shy of an animal is the crocodile, and he's able to survive around people, oh, whereas see. the crocodile cannot. Oh, now, the, next, boy, look at the this. next reptile that I'm going to show you happens to be absolutely oh, my favorite absolutely. reptile in the world. Molly!